Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. It's been a while since we did one of these, so we're gonna dive straight into the Gacha banner and we're gonna talk about what we can expect um, for this current event. So, as you can see, um, Christmas event is here because it's just a few days from Christmas basically, and we are looking at this banner. If you can see the banner that's currently going on here, you can see that. There is an image of Ranka in her Christmas costume as well. But we all know that the current Gacha banner, if we take a look here, only shows Cheryl. So we can expect that the second banner for this current event will feature Ranka in her Christmas costume as well. So I am definitely going to pull Ranka's banner because she's my waifu. Um, but we're gonna do one right now for Cheryl, so let's dive straight into it. I only have enough stones for one template pool for Cheryl Gnome. Um, but before we do that, let's take a look at her costume to see whether um, the costume is actually worth unlocking via Gacha or working harder on the event itself. You can actually unlock Cheryl's costume for free. Uh, without going through the gacha at, at all, but for Ranka's costume, sadly to say, all Ranka fans out there, you need to pull her gacha to get her costume. Now, it's a cash grab method, but it is very effective because Dana knows um, Ranka fans will do anything for their waifu. Uh, basically, any diva in uh, Macross um, series, basically any of the, the Macross divas will actually draw in money if you um, have them as your waifu or husband though if you are a Basara fan. So yeah, so let's take a look at Cheryl Gnome's brand new costume, the bri uh, Brilliant Gnome? Noel, sorry. Brilliant Noel, that's the name of the costume. Um, it basically boosts soul and voice, sorry, soul voice? Yeah, 6% up. So they did not include the word to. So, which is basically N in Japanese, so very strange. Soul Voice 6% up, which is 2 stats with a 6% boost, which is fantastic. So I guess even the costumes are starting to go into a higher tier level. So definitely you will want to unlock Cheryl Gnome's costume at this point of time. Um, be it the hardworking method through the episode plates from the event, or um, if you have a ton of Singing Stones saved up for your waifu Cheryl, I uh, definitely want to toss in most of your singing stones for the gacha banner itself. Now let's take a look at the episode plate to see whether you are actually um, benefiting from getting this episode plate or is it just another method to get um, her your waifu's costume in a much faster way. So let's take a look at Cheryl's episode plate with a total of 3300 score focusing on voice and a bit of soul. Uh, which is basically what the costume was mentioning as well in terms of uh, its um, skills. Yeah, so center skill, A rank. Unit's voice is boosted by 60% up, which is fantastic, which is currently what we need for this event itself because all the songs that are focused in terms of uh, the player challenge and of course the high score challenge, you will need the points um, for soul to get the, that high score to beat your opponent. Alright, so next, um, the active skill, life recovery of 50% up. Now, there's a reason why this split has a life recovery skill instead of a score boosting skill. Mainly because if you play, if you try playing the extreme on the current song, um, it is very possible for a two-time player to complete the song uh, full combo. Uh, it just needs a bit of practice because there are certain notes that are very fast paced changing or fast paced tapping rhythm. Um, there are a lot of arrow notes so you have to practice um, quite a bit um, just to get used to it. If you're a, a pro player for music games, uh, you definitely won't have an issue for this current extreme. It is not that difficult. I myself uh, is I myself am able to clear the song but sadly to say I have not full combo the song yet because extreme songs are definitely not my thing. I have been practicing quite a bit so I've gotten used to it. Do take note though, the current song in extreme does have the two thumb left and right switching so you got to get used to that uh, especially for two thumb players. You need to get used to having your thumbs on the left side and on the right side at the same time 
you gotta practice that and you should be fine with most of the extreme songs later on it's just that probably you might have to get used to the fast paced motion for much uh, harder songs uh, especially under the Macross Delta series alright so live skill as you can see S rank as well for the first 30 seconds yeah, it lasts for 7 seconds, your score is boosted by 80% now. Now, if you take a look here, we have been recently mentioning more about uh, live skills that are of the repeat or um, basically um, high score boosting um, effects. You know, because there are two episode plates currently, um, two types of episode plates currently that really affects the high score um, play. And this one basically is to support skills or rather to support um, songs that are very long, uh, that has a long duration. So score repeat, this is basically what the words here says beside the level 5. Um, score repeats are for um, long duration songs. So definitely a plate that is a must have especially um, when you're playing maybe a um, against this current song or uh, Sekan Hiko Eve uh, which is also an extremely long song so sadly to say no special notes attached to Cheryl Gnome's episode plate and of course taking note of the four divas that I can equip this current episode plate itself so it's fantastic that Basara is able to use this um, I've always known Basara to be more of a Cheryl character um, because of his sassy attitude of um, believing in his own music <laughs> that kind of thing so yeah um definitely a must get played in terms of uh, support because this is very useful and of course the live recovery skill if you need for certain events that um you need to clear missions or challenges that require you to have a certain amount of hp that kind of thing so it's a pretty awesome plate nonetheless um definitely worth to have in your collection and of course for use um, probably one of the mid-range episode plates considering that its uh, stats are pretty decent as well alright so let's do this template pool we're gonna do one template pool and that's it I'm definitely going to try and rack up a bit more singing stones by uh, the next three days because uh, Cheryl no not Cheryl Rankas uh, Gacha will be out by then so let's do this guys we know what we want to see hopefully I get to see it um, the luck has been terrible for quite a long while already so once in a while we do get something nice but it's on the average kind of nice uh, there isn't like a double um, five star plate pool or three three plate uh, five star you know that kind of thing ah I'm fumbling so much during this recording I'm so nervous. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh no, there's only three planes. So there is likely a very low chance of a five star plane. We only got one red box. That's horrendous. Uh, so maybe I don't have luck with Cheryl, but hopefully with my waifu, Ranka, uh, we might get something nicer then. Okay. A lot of old plates. Where are the new ones? Okay. Uh, so the red box is going to be the last one, I suppose. So no evolution. Okay, so we got nothing new. That's Okay, we do get two new plates, but still. Nothing fantastic out of this pool. Uh, not a single plate. I don't know whether these two plates are actually the ones for Cheryl's costume. Um, no, it's not. So, sadly to say... Okay, we do get a plate for Cheryl's costume, <clears throat> so not too bad, but still, uh, I guess I'm going to have to put in more effort for this current event to unlock Cheryl's costume the hardworking way. Um, so yeah, guys, um, hopefully you definitely have better luck than I do, as always, um, because it is horrendous. This pool is worse than some of the pools I have done in the past, uh, as you can see from... Um, my history of videos in Utah Macross. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully all the information is useful as always. And all the best to you guys for your gacha pools. And I'll, until then, I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Bye!